my job to do here, if you can't tell. And today's little video is going to be on doorbells. And as you heard, this one here, it has the ding and the dong, kind of. But, um, it could use a little bit of, uh, maybe an updating or something like that. It's probably been this house since the house was made. And so today, we're going to work on doorbells. Uh, first what we'll do is I'll show you what the new doorbell looks like. Alright, before we get started, just want to introduce my sponsor right here. Urban, maker of mini Sylvain, Sylvain chocolate cakes. Urban, right? That's uh, it's not a bourbon cake, it's actually a nice little snack cake there. You can see uh, different kinds of uh, cake fillings, little pedophores type of deals. And uh, here's a breakdown, kind of what they look like on the inside. Almost you know, like this kind here, chocolate, you know, vanilla cake. And, and, and really, yeah, this is a Japanese company, yeah, bourbon. And uh, I'm not really being sponsored by them, but if someone could find this and send me some, that'd be great. Anyways, on the doorbell. So, the parts we have here is a base. This is this is for the new one, and um, you know it's all electronic now. No, no dings and dongs, no uh, chimes per se. This one has a volume control to it. Has your wire hookups. This one can have batteries if you want to be a wireless installation, but um, you don't have to have batteries. In fact, you don't put batteries in it when you put a wired installation in there. So we've got that part there. We got some uh, some screws that came with it. Something like this here, you know, you've seen this before. You sink this in your drywall and you have your screw to hold it to the wall, little anchor system. So got that. Uh, this one came with a little bag of these here. Look at that. You see that in there? That's a diode. And it has a little note in there. And what this note basically entails is if you want your whole song, because these, these play music, uh, if you want and it plays 16 different tunes supposedly, if you want your whole song to be played, you gotta um, hook this diode to the button. And uh, I know it says if you have like a metal house, you don't want you, know, you don't want the metal siding to contact with this. So we'll, we'll get to that when we get to it. And last but not least, for this particular doorbell, you got the outer cover. You know, which you know, is the back side of the cover, and here's the inside of the cover. No, outside cover, inside. Yeah, you get it. And when you mount this, you can either have it up like this on the wall, or you can have it turned like that. Either way is fine. It don't matter. So, the first step that you need to check out is your transformer. If you don't know what the, uh, what the amps of your transformer is, it's good to check it out. So we'll, uh, we'll go find the transformer and check it out. Alright, and here is the doorbell transformer. Now this one is a little bit different. You have basically your contacts there, or I shouldn't say contacts, your, your um, screws for the voltage. And um, the one that we have there wants a 16 volt. And uh, yeah, this one here has three of them, three screws. What that means is actually it's a, it's a tri voltage um, transformer. And so it takes your 120. Usually, this, this is the first time I've seen a transformer like this because this one here actually has, and maybe they just wired it this way, but it's plugged into an outlet. So it takes your 120 from here brings it up and transforms it down. And what does it transform it down to? Well, it depends. When you have the contacts there, you get yourself a, a volt checker, reader thingy. And um, I'll put this thing on volts. I'll use the contacts here. We've got you know, red and black. And so I'll put the black on one screw here and where the other one's at over here makes that, uh, oops, gives me a rating of 16.21 volts. So that's basically a 16 volt um, readout there. And that is, that's good. That's exactly what we want right now. The new doorbell, it wants 16 volts. But if I do the bottom one and the top screw, that's giving me a readout of 24 volts. Now if I do the top screw and the side screw, that gives me a 7.96, so right close to 8 volts. And um, that's what you do. 
you uh, just, if you have a, a voltmeter, um, I can show it here. You got your voltmeter, you see. Right now it's saying it's uh, 0 0.003, but if I were to, you know, put the contacts, these things here, you know, back onto that uh, transformer back there like I did, the readout here would show your 16, 24, and, you know, close to 8 volts. And, um, like I said, um, the, the new Norbell wants 16 volts. Others might want something higher, someone lower. I, I hear there's other things out there that want higher voltages, but um, for now, I don't necessarily need to do this, I don't think, but I'm gonna unplug this from the wall. And, uh, hmm, I'll take another reading here on the uh, volt checker. And, and it says zero. It just zeroes it out. So, pretty safe to say that the power is killed off for this now. And uh, what we'll do next is, let's see, talk about some troubleshooting. So let's say if you had a doorbell that worked and all of a sudden it don't work no more. Well, step one might be to check your button. Like if your button used to light up, maybe just take the button off the wall, which we'll do here in a minute, and um, check to make sure the wires are on the button. The, the buttons are pretty simple. As you'll see, there's just uh, two wires that go to it. Now, if that's fine, you want to find probably your transformer next. This, this one. Well, yours at home. And they could be up in a closet. They could be you know, up in the, in the ceiling somewhere. You know, they could be close to the uh, doorbell. They could be you know, up here in your crawl space. And uh, what you want to do is find it and do a volt tester across it and uh, see what kind of voltage you have. And if that comes out fine, then you can go to the doorbell part itself and, you know, check out it out for the same thing, the voltage, make sure it's getting to it fine, and the reading. And if anywhere along the thing, the, the, the thing, the, the line of the wires there, if anywhere along you find that, uh, let's see, if this isn't working, you get a new transformer. If your doorbell's not working, the, uh, the push button part, you can either go for a new button or test the uh, doorbell, actual doorbell inside to see if that's working. And if something's really cut off not working, it could be a wire. The worst part would probably be a wire that something like some animal chewed on or something like that and, uh, and ruined it. Now, if I were to replace this transformer, no problem for this one, because like I said, first time I've seen it with a plug, I can just, you know, unplug it like I did and uh, try to find another one with a plug, or maybe just wire it in. And uh, otherwise, usually these things are hardwired in, so you want to find the circuit breaker and turn off the circuit breaker, you know, use the continuity to make sure no more juice is going through that before you work on it. Apparently, this uh, 12, I mean 14, 24, 8 volts, you know, won't, won't bother me. I can work on this without actually having to, you know, unplug it. But, if you have to change out the transformer, yeah, you need to find that breaker. Anyways, a quick talk about that. And now let's get back to the action at hand of just doing an upgrade here, which will go to the front and check out the doorbell situation. All right, so here we are. We've got the little doorbell here. It's dead. And uh, this screw over here, take the little screws out. And so uh, get that out of there. All right, and um, see if I get this thing off the wall. There we go. A little twist here, and you can see there we got little little wires. Man, that's tight in there. So we got a blue. Ah, what do we got here? We got a mess. We got a red and purple wire here coming off, and um, a couple little blue leads. And you know what? I don't like that. So, uh, let me swing the rest. This is what we ended up doing. We got our, uh, our doorbell here, and we got the, uh, the blue wires. These took out of these here, into here, the blue wires. 
Mm, we don't need that anymore. So, door build, diode, see that? See that one? All right, not sure what happened there, but if you can see in there, real close and snug there, you can see the diode. I twisted it together with the red wire, and I'm going to twist it together with the purple wire, but the purple wire snapped off on me. So, we got the um, tool for that here, uh, wire stripper right, and we'll uh, chalk it on down there and see if I can get some of that wire. It's probably in the uh, 18 to 22 category. This is this is horrible here. Let's see. Do a little of this motion. And uh grab it. Give it a little pull, but not too much because it you now doesn't go on forever. All right, there we go. Um, nope. Here we snip it off, or it didn't come out of the way. Let me try again. Uh -huh. Grab it. I think I'm gonna snip it off, actually. Okay. Well, that's not gonna behave. Yeah, got some uh, glue up in here. All right, so game plan is I'm gonna strip some wire off here. I'm gonna tie in the other part of the diode to it and twist it in and put on that. I'm gonna pause it here. All right, yeah, let's see oh, there done. it is. <clears throat> After um, much uh, strenuous uh, fine tuning and re wrapping wires and moving around and a few words that shouldn't be said on uh, YouTube probably, I uh, got this thing uh, done. So. Now we will insert this back into the wall. Very carefully so. And hope not to mess up any of the wires. Mm. Alright, like so, and then uh, let's see, secure it. With these little bit of screws again here. <laughs> okay. Top one. And bottom one. And hope that this uh, still works. Alright, that should be good. Now then, we will go inside and check out the old doorbell and see what it's doing. Alright, so here is the old doorbell. Sometimes they're in the hallway, sometimes in the closet. <clears throat> and this thing here just uh, off the front. Yeah. Alright, so you got that there. And um, let's do a little action movements here. Okay, moving around like so. Now, what you can see there is actually the workings of a real doorbell. And uh, you got uh, this thing here that hits the top plate. This one here is the bottom town. And in between, you get your wire hooks ups. So, this one here is a says rear on it, this one says trans, and this is front. So, the white wire goes off to the transmitter, the purple wire, in this case, front. So that goes to the front doorbell, as we saw before. The rear one, if you had a rear doorbell, you can put that in there and hook it up. And, um, yeah, so there's the workings of it. Uh, you have a little bit extra wires. And the reason why is because here is your red. Your red actually goes to the doorbell and to the transformer and then it connects from the doorbell to the purple one and from the purple one 
Well, it goes to here, and then from here it goes back to the transformer. So, we seem to have an extra white, an extra purple here tied off, and then you have this purple and white one here. So we want to make sure the, these two are labeled, which they kind of are. There's some tape on them. Just remember that the uh, light goes to the transformer, purple in this case goes to the doorbell, and um, we should be fine. I might look at this little mess here and see what I can do with it. And uh, I don't know about these other wires, little wire management. But basically what we'll do here is, uh, you can see on the sides here, we got a screw and uh, another one on the other side. And so I'll, let's just start taking this thing apart. Yeah, there's a nice view of the wall. Uh, let's see here. Get some repositioning going. All right, back on target. So we'll start by taking off the uh, wires here that are attached. White one here goes to transformer. Take that off. Purple one goes to transformer. Take that off, and now we can take off these screws here on the side, which probably hold to the wall. We can take it off all the way. And this one here does say, I just noticed here after I move the wires, up there there is a part where it says 16 volts. So, this is all uh, working correctly. It's just, you know, maybe a little bit older, not that good anymore. Take that one off, and the other screw here. Okay. From what it looks like, actually, it's not the original one. What I can tell is that up behind there, you can see other, other holes. So these two held on here, there's other holes here for another one. So, who knows? Hopefully the next one will last uh, longer for the people. Uh, let's see. Take some of these wires out of here, straighten them all. This particular one has a little bit of hole that these wires like to uh, go through the back of it. There's purple. Here comes a white one. And then we got these other ones here. There. All right. Now we got a mess of wires, that's good. So, old doorbell, taken off, and uh, I will mess up those wires more so I can figure out which is which again and get back with the, the new doorbell. All right, so I took care of the wire problem a little bit, wires here, and uh, kind of slapped it up there now. Now, doorbells have a direction on them, believe it or not. And this one here can either be mounted like this way or turn on a side like this way. And now, right here is a good fit for it. So, I'm going to uh, not put it back here because the, the, the way the wires come out from the wall, it doesn't have a, a groove in the back. So right here, it's right where the wire's coming in. I'm going to make sure it's kind of, you know, level, kind of. And I'll just mark the uh, four holes here. Some Sharpie. All right, so. Hmm. Double 
check it here. Nope. And this one back here. Great. So, got them marked. And next I will uh, get the drill driver ready. And this one here takes a uh, 732nd drill bit for the anchors to go in. So, oh, let's see here. And I drill them like that. A little bit like that. And um gotta remark the bottom ones, so I'll be back. Okay. Got them drilled out. Now put the little uh little screw anchors in here. I'll push. There we go. So bring the wires back through. And make sure the up is right. Yep. Feed that on through to your anchor and give it a nice secure. Then the other one. Secure that one down. Nice and snug. Level, nice and snug. All right, then we've got these wires to deal with. So uh, let's see, we got purple here. And that went to um, the front. Front door, if I remember correctly. Button. Where do you go, purple? There we go. So I like to give it a little bend or so. Just like a loop around the screw. Mm -hmm. And we got a white one here, which is still marked with those piece of tape and it already has a little slight bend in it. So I'll bend that around and that went to the transformer. Alright. Now then, at this point I'm going to leave that there and go plug the transformer back in and uh, give it a little test before we put the rest of the stuff together. Now you'll see here that, um, you know, it's out of, you know, there's, there's paint from before. So this, this whole is going to be, from my understanding, going to be painted. And so that's going to be a problem. I probably should go back and fill the old holes in and then, um, you know, do a prime job on it. And then that will be ready to be repainted to whatever they're going to do for the, this, um, this place. So let me, um, go plug back in. And we'll see if it works. Okay, so we got the transformer plugged back in, and let me go uh, test this out. Now you guys wait here and tell me if you hear anything. All right, would you listen to that? So. Um, apparently that is now working and now what we'll do is we'll take these wires and kind of uh, give them a little twisty like so, shove them up in here, make sure that none of the wires, you know, have batteries that hook up the stuff 
And now if, it, if it's too loud, there's a volume control on this one here. I'm jumping down. And um, there's supposedly 16 different songs. And so I don't know if I can just keep pushing it, it'll change. But we got that up there now. And time to uh, install the front cover here. All right, so that there, finished doorbell. Have to do more extra work on it. And now it's time to uh, go and enjoy uh, one of these little snack cakes here. Um, if I still have any. So, if you have any questions though, this proves the gist of it. Um, let me know down below in the comments. And uh, thanks for watching my video. I hope it was educational in some sort of way. Maybe slightly entertaining. Maybe not. Maybe it was boring. I don't know. Leave a comment down below and uh, voice your opinion. Otherwise, Oz Job Doer, thanks for watching. Alrighty, I'm back for just a little bit more here. So, this particular one has 16 different tones. And to get them to play, there's a tone button up here. And you push it. until you find the tone that you like. Yeah. What else we got here? Sounds like a New Year's tune. Right? What else we got? Ah, oh, wish you Merry Christmas for the holidays. And uh, let's see if we can turn it down some. This is pleasant. Mm. Yeah, what else we got? I want a little groove on this one. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, yeah. Ah, ding dong. And... Alright. Huh. Okay, what's that? I think this is the original tone. Alright, so that's about it. And, uh, and so yeah, if you have this particular type with 16 different tones, that's how you can change it. The only thing that I kind of wish they had, which they apparently don't have on this, would be a random ring. So you just play anyone at 16. But, uh, Whatever, that's fine. Alright, once again, thanks for watching. Y'all have a good day.